this is just, this is just gonna be a small video vlog, so <clears throat> let's get all down to it. What'll happen this week? Um, I didn't hear any many much NASCAR news except for Kyle Busch's sponsors, which is pretty much uh, Richard Richard uh, Richard Childress's sponsors. So yeah, so nothing new on the sponsor wise for for Kyle Busch. I mean, it was I mean all those sponsors were on the A car last year, so like. Nothing new. <laughs> Nothing new. It's I mean, it's just the uh, team kept the sponsors and just put on that car while Kyle Busch went over there. So, but otherwise, yeah. But not just uh, not only that for NASCAR, but yeah, just little just, just little news. But but uh, no drag racing. But I seen in uh, um, I seen in the NXT uh, uh, breakdown. I seen the uh, New Day won the uh, NXT tag titles, which. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's kind of reminds me how Charlotte Flair won the women's title. You know, the top guys from the main roster win the uh, win the NXT titles. You know, I mean, but who knows what where they're going with this? But it's hard to say. So, but otherwise, I uh, seen all that uh, Braun defend his title. Um, I don't think the North American title wasn't defended. But as far as all the other titles, yeah, as far as I know, and plus I see that ROH had a event with uh, slash AEW, seeing that uh, Cardio got the ROH title, and then Ath then Athena as the uh, ROH w uh, Women's Champion, and yeah, I think, and plus I think the the Briscoe Brothers and FTR had a uh, had a uh, bloody uh, dog collar match too, so that was kind of interesting, but yeah, <laughs> so otherwise, yeah, so and plus to um, not too much building up WWE as far as as uh, between the uh, Usos and the uh, I think that the uh, uh, I think the uh, watch the uh, bloodlines the uh, top top the top dogs right now in the WWE right now which it seems that way because that's where they're building them up so and plus I see that John Cena is going to be back uh, on the last uh, 2022 of uh, SmackDown so we'll see what he what he has to say and as far as that yeah. Never do do much. Uh, well, well, uh, well. Rumble uh, rumors like with Charlotte Flair and with Cody Rhodes, that keeps uh, keeps on uh, uh, spreading around. So, we'll see how it all comes down to that. And NFL. Well, both my teams lost today. Uh, Hawks couldn't keep uh, couldn't keep in with the uh, Panthers, which was something. Even though the, the Panthers are kind of on a on a momentum right now and. and and it's proven it, it, the way that they actually beat Seattle today. I mean, plus, there's a couple of penalties that were pretty uh, bad too that weren't called. But what can you do? I mean, you can't play. Uh, I mean, you can't play a uh, ref ball all the time. So, I mean, well, actually, when you're facing two teams. So, but I mean, but some of those calls did did affect uh, the, uh, uh, the outcome of the game. So, but. But still, that means that they're pretty much out out of the playoffs right now because of Washington's in, so and plus, and so is the Giants. So, so as far as that goes, and plus the uh, Niners won big against the Bucks, so that didn't help. So, and plus the Dolphins didn't get done in, in L.A. today. So, so, so I guess that loss really, aff so, uh, so I guess that loss from last week really affected them, didn't it? Gosh, what happened? What happened with Miami? They were doing so dang good, and I mean, until they faced the Niners, and then they got, well, I mean, like they never re uh, 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 recovered from it. That's what's going on with them right now. I mean, that's what the what what it showed in, uh, I mean, their game against the Chargers. It just like I mean, affected them. They just couldn't get out of it. But yeah. But still, I, I mean, I gotta say that that, that one fumble really was kind of interesting <laughs> to uh, see the ball uh, to uh, see the ball pop out and, and well, then uh, Tyreek Hill took it and he ran it in to the end zone. So, but otherwise, yeah. But my man, chance they had chances, and same with Seattle, they had chances to try to to uh, come back in the game, but it never happened. So, what can you do? What can you do? So. Next week, uh, Seattle plays on Thursday um, against the Niners, which I won't probably be watching it because it'll be on Amazon Prime. And I'm not going to get Amazon Prime just to watch a NFL game because that's what most of them are probably thinking that when they sign on to this uh, Prime deal with with NFL. 
It's like, oh, uh, we're going to get more viewers when we uh, switch to our games to Amazon Prime. It's not happening. Because most of them watch them on NFL Plus or on TV. So, I mean, why would you think they're watching, watching Amazon Prime? Because they have a lot of viewers. I mean, uh, well, I mean, well, they have a lot of buyers for Amazon Prime, and they think that's why that oh, we get the NFL into it. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> so I think so. I think they're gonna get out of it to probably probably, probably next year. Because I mean, imagine how much money they're losing over this. I can just yeah. But who knows? See how it goes. But but it doesn't matter if uh, but it doesn't matter if uh, one of my teams is actually playing on Thursday night. I will still not buy Amazon Prime for for that, for that reason. So, it can happen. And besides, me and Amazon have been I've been best friends from the recent years. So, <laughs> forget that. So yeah, not going to sign with Amazon after I have had, had had issues with them in the past. So, so much for that. So, and also uh, plus in uh, Miami plays on Saturday. I'm uh, against the Bills prime time, which I'll watch as well because because I'll be off working time, and. Uh, in which I'll say more info about that with my live stream on that day. So, so yeah. So, otherwise, see how it goes next week. We'll see how it goes. In NBA, uh, Portland, uh, they, actually, uh, they actually won their uh, last two games, so which is good. They actually beat, um, they uh, beat a minute. No, actually, no, they actually lost their last. Well, they won last night. I, I, I know that they actually beat uh, Minnesota last night, and they, and they lost to uh, Denver by uh, by uh, by uh, Murray uh, hitting that three. But uh, but uh, Portland had a chance, but they did just had a bad pass. That's what what it, pretty much all was. But yeah, but they play uh, Minnesota again tomorrow. So dang schedule. <laughs> so but otherwise, um, so yeah, so it's. So it's if if for Portland, and I see that that Army beat a uh, Navy um, this uh, uh, yesterday in, in second overtime, and and plus it was the first time ever that those two, two teams had went to overtime, which that's history. There, that's was for how long they've been playing that game, man. History, you gotta love it <laughs> for all those years, all those years. Um, and college basketball, well, um, Gonzaga and Oregon got it done. Uh, this week, uh, Gonzaga beat Washington. They actually, uh, they, well, they handle, well, they handle Washington on their home court. So, so yeah, that fact. And and, and a plus for Oregon, they actually uh, beat Nevada. I mean, a good Nevada team. They only had two losses, and that's a big win for the Ducks for sure. And plus, and plus two. Uh, Will uh, uh, Richardson be, 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 became the. Uh, Became the first duck in over 20 years to to actually have a to, to actually have a, a triple double, because 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 the last one to actually do it was in 2002. So I mean, look how long ago that was. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's history there for, for Oregon for sure in their basketball. So so yeah, see see what they go on next week. I I know Gonzaga's going to face Alabama next Saturday, so that's going to be a big game for them. Hope, hope goes well. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how uh, Gonzaga does. So I forgot who Oregon has. I think they have someone too. I forgot. So, but otherwise, um, anything else? Uh, no playlist updates, guys. Uh, as far as I know, um, comments I'll get to in the next week. I actually know that uh, Evan Pittman has been making a lot of comments with with my NASCAR. So that's cool. Uh, and, and, and plus, speaking of NASCAR, uh, live stream schedule tomorrow and Saturday, which I think I'll probably do it after the Dolphins game. So, so, so at least I'm not watching uh, my uh, favorite team play and then play NASCAR. So, so, uh, so I kind of like watch my favorite team play and while uh, doing live stream because I don't, yeah, because sometimes I actually don't don't do that most of the time. So, so yeah. But otherwise, um, as far as that goes, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, here in Pendleton, we've been getting wet weather, so and plus it's going to be cold next week, so it's going to be fun for me. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be something else. So, so anyway, guys, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all all in my live stream tomorrow. So because we're getting ready for the uh, road course rally, because those 
peak, 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 because the next extreme races will will be on the road courses. So look, I am looking forward to it because road courses are my friend in that game. So, so guys, so yep, thank you for watching. So I'll be back tomorrow with my live stream, and I hope you all tune in. So from the guy who's over five thousand subscribers and listen and listen, Felton, Oregon, I'm out of here. So take care.